Hello and welcome to today's episode of Friends with Fins. I'm your host, Jacqueline Friedlander, and today I'm going to show you something that is utterly adorable. I'm at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, and they've partnered with the Monterey Bay Aquarium to do something called the Sea Otter Surrogacy Program. Where we will be taking orphan sea otter pups, pairing them with adult females. Those adult females will teach them life skills like grooming, foraging, and socializing. And then those orphaned pups will have a second chance at life back in the ocean. I know that sea otter pups are not able to swim when they're born. I know they have armpit pockets. Yeah. What are some other fun sea otter facts? Okay, they eat 20 to 30% of their body weight a day. So for people that weigh 100 pounds, that's like eating a whole Thanksgiving turkey in one day. Oh my gosh. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> that's so much food. Speaking of eating, Sea otters eat urchins, clams, mussels, and crabs, and are considered a keystone species. Keystone species, a species on which other species in an ecosystem largely depend, such that if it were removed, the ecosystem would change drastically. Sea urchins eat kelp, and since sea otters eat sea urchins, the otters help keep the sea urchin population in check. If left unchecked, sea urchins would make it so that kelp forests would not thrive. A healthy kelp forest with sea otters is important because it can capture 8,700,000 tons of carbon dioxide. That's the same as removing 1,900,000 passenger cars every single year. And what do they put in their armpit pockets and what's the actual purpose of those? They dive down to the bottom of the ocean, they pry all their yummy food items off the bottom, they stick it in their armpit pockets and come to the surface and they eat a buffet right on their belly on the surface of the water. Can you tell me a little bit about what a re-release looks like? Yes, so once the pup has stabilized and learned all the skills they need to be a wild otter, they will get transported back to Monterey Bay Aquarium where we will have flipper tags put on the animals so that we can properly identify them and then release them. After release, there is intensive monitoring that happens. So people will be tracking them for two weeks from boat, air, and shore, which is an incredible amount of wow. investment. But after two weeks post-release, most sea otters are successful and can live out in the wild until forever. <laughs> and how long is forever for a sea otter? Sea otters live to be about 15 years old. In zoos and aquariums, they can live to be a little bit longer into their early 20s. I hope you've enjoyed learning about otters just as much as I have. Thank you for watching this episode of Friends with Fins.